Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, we're talking fall candles. Now, disclaimer, I do not have these new fall candles in this video to share for you, but I am going to discuss the new Kringle fall candles that are launching on July 13th, which is this Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. I will leave the link as well as my ambassador code down below. Now these will launch at full price, but you can use my ambassador code, which is DrewYawk15, to save yourself 15% on all these full price candles. But if you know me, you know fall candles are my favorite time of the year. I love all things fall, all things cozy, all things pumpkin, apple, woodsy all the warmth and comfort that comes with fall, ex exactly what I want the weather to be like all year. Summer is not my jam. I don't like summer. I don't like heat. I don't like the beach. I don't like anything like that. So seeing all these candle companies come out with fall candles, you don't know how badly I want to decorate, but I'm trying to wait till August 1st to decorate for fall this year, which is still early for some people, but... Last year, I decorated for fall on the 4th of July. A little excessive, I know, but this year, I am going to try to contain myself and not decorate until August 1st. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I definitely will be going through my stash and finding out what decorations I have, what I want to keep, what I want to donate, what I want to buy, all the things. So anyway, I brought out four candles from Kringle last year that I want to talk about that I hope launch in three wick soy this year because i know that kringle is working on three wick 100 percent soys in a lot of their formulas all these new fall candles are launching in the three wick soy which i'm very excited about so without further ado let's get into it before i get started on the newness i brought out four candles from last year that i fell in love with from kringle cannot wait to burn these this year they've been sitting for a year so they're gonna be so strong so nice super cured yes let's get started the first one i have here is sugar pumpkins and i'm pulling up the website here all of these are still available on kringle's website so you're able to purchase them in daylights through um two wick soy single wick little or uh the medium wax melts so a few but anyway sugar pumpkins our quintessential pumpkin fragrance has arrived sugar pumpkins is pumpkin forward with warm notes of brown butter cinnamon clove and vanilla this is your pumpkin that is creamy and sweet Think everything that you think of those like cinnamon, sugar, pumpkin, that's like overly cinnamon, that smells like a craft store, and throw it out the window. This is pure, sweet, delicious, creamy pumpkin goodness. And uh, I love the look of the soy formula. It just looks creamy and decadent and ready to dive in. And as soon as I don't have to have my air condition on, these are getting lit. I cannot wait to light them again this year. This is buttery, rich, almost leaning towards like a sweet pumpkin butter. If you're familiar with like the food pumpkin butter. Oh, it is so rich. It is so decadent. It's sweet, very vanilla forward. So if you don't like that super cinnamon spice pumpkin, sugar pumpkins is totally for you. And on the same vein as like not a super cinnamon sugary apple, apple love this was one of the most unique candles that i smelled last fall and the label is beautiful it's like this painted portrait of an apple has a little heart slice there for apple love and it says there is nothing quite like the sweet smell of mama's fall baking the combination of apples elderberries and sugared fruits will have you feeling right at home this is sweet this is fresh this is juicy you get a little, I'm looking at the notes here. There's sugar cane, blackberry, strawberry, pomegranate, cherry blossom, apple, elderberry, and lemon. And it really is, it's this sweet, warm, complex apple scent. It's not apple cinnamon. There's no cinnamon in the notes. This is like that transition from summer into fall where you're ready for apple, but you're not sure if you're ready for like that super apple pie or apple donut, or any type of like super rich apple scent. This is that fresh and fruity complex apple. This I know I'm going to be burning in my bedroom. I just think it is that right 
comfort level for a bedroom, but still fall. Oh, I love, I cannot wait to burn that. Now, apple cinnamon is still great, right? And apple cider donut, I think hands down, everybody loves this who has smelled this. This is the most authentic apple cider donut fragrance I have ever smelled. And the notes read, our apple cider donut is infused with sweet cider apple notes and lavish dusting of sweet cinnamon. Best of all, this guilty pleasure is 100% calorie free. We love that. You know, for here, it's called Trax Farm. We also have Sorgles Farm in Pittsburgh. And that's what this smells like. This smells like you walked in to the apple cider room because there's a whole room filled with every size, shape, and form of apple cider. Apple cider cakes, apple cider donuts, apple cider butters, all things apple cider. And this is so great. This is a fresh, juicy apple turned cider. Add yeast, add baked notes, add cinnamon, add sugar. Why does it have to be 90 degrees outside? Like, fall weather is the best. I mean, last year I went to the pumpkin patch in a flannel, jeans, boots, bought apple cider, bought pumpkins, and it was the happiest I ever am. Because fall is just the best. It's just the best time of year. Oh, and this instantly transports me to going there and smelling those rich apple cider donuts. Oh, I cannot get enough. So love, love, love. And then last but not least, I, I like the scent, but I think I like the name even more. Gorgeous. Look at those beautiful gourds, pumpkins, and apples on there. And Gorgeous says, are you a pumpkin spice lover? Pumpkin spice latte lover. A gorgeous is our elevated version of this fall staple drink. Pumpkin spice latte boasting notes of pumpkin, cinnamon, vanilla, and hints of citrus. And the longer that this has been sitting, the better it gets. It is that true pumpkin spice latte foam. Have you ever had, I don't drink the pumpkin spice lattes. I really don't drink coffee anymore. My stomach can't really handle the acidity in coffee, but the pumpkin cream cold brew with a pumpkin cold foam, that's what this smells like. It's not overly coffee. If you don't like coffee, you're gonna like this. It's not a coffee candle. It's those pumpkin spices, but enriched with that warm, decadent milk, that steamed milk that they froth into the cold foam. Like this just smells like lavishing clouds of pumpkin scented cream. That is so decadent. Like um, there's a company here that makes like homemade marshmallows and they always do like infused marshmallows. This smells like a pumpkin infused marshmallow. It's not like the sticky sweet marshmallow. It's that really creamy, delicious, vanilla forward baked pumpkin and vanilla. Oh, it truly is gorgeous. And this is gonna be my fall staple in the kitchen. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. If you don't like that cloyingly sweet pumpkin, but you want something a little bit more spiced, try this. This is more sweet pumpkin. This is more spiced pumpkin. So pick your pumpkin. But speaking of picking your pumpkin, I am pulling up the new scents and I will insert pictures over here as I talk about them. All right. The first coming soon, Autumn Spice. Look at the three wick. It is so pretty. And this one says, immerse yourself in a captivating blend of cinnamon, orange zest, Cloves, leaves, tonka bean tea. Perfectly crafted to invoke the essence of the season. That looks so pretty. Look at the label. It's like a cartoony pumpkin. And it looks like the lids are an orange, like, hammered copper. I don't know if that's how they're going to be in real life. But in the picture, that is sort of what it evokes for me. That looks really, really pretty. Next, from the Country Candle line... We have Candied Orange, the yummy sweet scent of sweet blood orange peel covered with chocolate. This aroma is then rounded off with gourmand scents of vanilla and lactonic milky notes sprinkled with crystallized sugar. Oh, it reminds me of those oranges that are in the gold packaging. Amazing. I know a lot of companies have like a chocolate orange scent. Joe Malone actually had a body fragrance called like chocolate orange and it was beautiful. So I'm really curious to see 
how that smells, and that is in the country line. Then we have Bourbon Bonfire. I'm obsessed with the packaging on this. Obsessed. Golden aged rum and whiskey get some spicy texture from cinnamon sticks and clove, rounded out by sweet woods and smoked vanilla. Yes, that picture of it almost looks like the Northern Lights in the background with those greens and blues, the pretty like shadowed trees, and then this roaring bonfire. Smoky scents are my jam, especially for the fall. And now back to country, apple pumpkin pie. Crisp fall apple halves and pears are blended with citrus. Pumpkin puree is wrapped with bold spices, comforting undertones of vanilla baked notes and allspice complete this delectable aroma. I love that there's an apple pie and a pumpkin pie on the picture together because how many times during the holidays are you like, do I want apple pie? Do I want pumpkin pie? Maybe I'll just get a little sliver of each because you can't make up your mind. That's going to be this candle. And this is going to be a great gifting candle, I think, for someone who truly wants like that essential fall pie candle. Sign me up. All right. Pumpkin waffles. I can already tell you what I think this is going to smell like. A sweet woodsy aroma inspired by a delicious morning breakfast of sweet pumpkin waffles and warm maple syrup. Okay. When I was a kid, I used to love wearing argyle and orange is my favorite color. So an orange argyle three wet candle sold, sign me up, obsessed. And look at that waffle. Look at that decadent, rich, thick Belgian waffle with homemade whipped cream, a little bit of spice, syrup, and pecans. Is this the Bath and Body Works pumpkin pecan waffles dupe that I've been wanting Kringle to make? Because I want pumpkin pecan waffles that halfway doesn't smell burnt. And Kringle candles never smell burnt. So do we have a winner? I hope so. And this morning, they just posted Cherry Crumble. I am not a cherry person, but if you've been following me, Sensi has had a lot of cherry bakery that I've loved, and this is cherry bakery. And listen, indulge in the delightful essence of cherry crumble as sweet raspberries and vanilla bean intertwine while warm buttery crumble crust wafts through the air. With a hint of brown sugar, this comforting fragrance evokes cherished memories of autumn evenings and heartwarming family moments. That cherry cobbler or cherry crumble looks so good. And let me tell you, Kringle, when they do bakery, do it really well. And if this cherry blended with the raspberry and the vanilla with this buttery brown sugar crust, it could be a winner. And I really hope it is because I have been really liking cherry bakery. Again, it has to be cherry bakery. It's not cherry, like, cough syrup cherry. I do not like cough syrup cherry. So let's keep our fingers crossed that this is not a cough syrup cherry. Oh, and then they also released, interesting name, Leaf Peeper. Lakeside woods and layered are layered by fresh apple and peach notes, dewy crisp greens and warmed by classic fall spices. Look at the three wick, how it's completely clear, but you just have these solid leaves and black and white lace leaves and color like shadowed leaves. So interesting. And a leaf peeper is a very interesting name. I feel like they give like some unique names to their fragrances. That sounds interesting. And I definitely thought this was leaf pepper at first. I was like, interesting, but peeper is even more weird. So I'm excited to try this one. Let me know what you guys are going to pick up. Maybe they're going to release more these were the latest pictures that Kringle has posted on their Instagram. I'm just double checking if they've posted anything else. I don't think so. But let me see. Nope, that looks like I covered all of them. I am so excited. Guys, I am so excited for this fall release. Let me know. Again, I am a Kringle ambassador. And if you use my code DrewYawk15, you'll actually save 15% on these launches. They're launching July 13th, which is this Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Let me know what you guys are picking up. I'm going to get probably one of each. It's going to be a debate between a three-wick 
and a two brick tumbler in a lot of these though. So I'm gonna have to sit down and figure out what I want and then I'll decide what I wanna stock up on. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you over on Kringle on Thursday. Make it a better world, be kind. I love you all so much, bye.